Hello world, Lockpicking Dev here. Today I have an Abus 80 Ti 50, it's a titanium, and I made this guttable. So I've previously made a video of picking one of these before. Today I'm going to pick it, I'm going to gut it and show you what's inside, what kind of pins are in there. And I will give you tips on if you decide to do this yourself on how to go about making your own uh, uh, gutting it uh, to save you some problems and uh, time. Which, uh, if you gut it, the lock will obviously will forever be uh, um, changed and it won't be usable again. But just in case you want to, I will give you tips. So there's pin one. Yeah, pin one. Just like that. Pin one. Pin two. Pin two is set. Two is a spool. On the back. or pick slipping there. Pin three. Quick uh, small rotation out of five only went underneath it, we just knocked it in. There we go. Pin four. That pin two again, so I think we dropped that earlier. Sorry about the focus there. That was more out of four for sure there, I think. But, uh, there we go. I think we just hit pin six. Grazing over it, kind of set it, or got a click out of it. Trying to set its spool there. There we go. Pin six is set. Let that back down. I overset pin five there. So just let that back down. I go back through, see where you dropped, because we definitely dropped a lot there. So pin two is dropped again. I think he's got a false set out of pin two. Sure did. There we go. Here's pin six, nice full set, way back there. That was right there, it was actually pin three, so I think we may have hit that by proxy. So yeah, we just got the pin three full set. Go back in the back again. What we got left here? 
He just dropped into a false set again. I think it's also pin three again. So what do we do there? Pin two. Back and back again. That feels set. Uh, there we go. Pin three all the way up. There we go. So we have an open. Now let's get it. So to do this, I'm going to use the key now. You got to use the key. So our key was back here. Here's the bidding. So you can see why it was a little pain in the ass to pick. It was some good bidding. So our key now, we want to remove this retaining pin right here. And I already made a bolt for it. So we do this. So this is how, um, what I'm doing right here actually, uh, first, this is how, if I want to remove the whole core. So actually, let's not do that first because uh, that's more of a pain in the butt than just um, gutting it. So let's gut it first and then we'll remove the core. And I'll show you why, because I don't want to get this thing stuck. There we go, okay, core cannot come out. So our retaining pin's back in. So let's gut it. Close this. There are pins. This is the standard pin. Didn't change anything about it. So obviously tons of spools there. Now let me show you how to pull a core out. And the reason why I took the pins out first, you'll see why in just a second. Because this re retaining screw right here, there is a, a groove in the plug that that retaining screw follows. And actually, I want to keep that closed. That groove in that plug can get the top pin stuck right there. So just like the um, pack lock, puck lock, the Master 575, Master 570 with those retaining pins for the plugs right there. This has the same thing. So if we would have picked this, so we had this turned and picked right, if we would have pulled it out that way, then we see that all the driver pins would have dropped down in right there. And so another thing too, which I'll have to fix this now, is keep the shackle closed when you're doing this. The reason being is because the... Uh, the thing right here pops out, and it's a real pain in the butt to get back in. So you have to kind of do it from the inside in a, in a weird way. Let's see here if I can get it back on. I'll probably deal with that in a minute. But yeah, so <clears throat> when making this practice lock, or when doing this, if you feel like gutting it and making a practice lock, keep in mind... The first thing you want to do is drill out this part right here. You can, these, yes, it seems like it's easier to take all the pins out first like I just did, but it's harder drilling these first and then pulling it out because when you're drilling these, the, these pins right here, these are the pins that I drilled. You can see the ends of them here, this, the drill is in there. Uh, they will not just fall out. So this will just get more and more compressed in those Bible and it'll be really hard to get out. So do the driver um, or the um, retaining pin first. That way it's out of the way. And let's see, can you turn this all the way around in here? Oh, you probably can't. Yeah, because the, uh, the actuator in the back is going to say you can't turn it all the way around. Um, hmm. Let's see if you could keep turning it and then pull it out. That'd be nice. Because you want to get this out. Actually, if you pull this up, and pull this out just a little bit, 
this will pop out which will allow you to go back in here and push this this will pop out if you push this back in and then turn it that way you should be able to pull it out like that so that's if you have a key because you can see how that lines up right there with the Bible if you turn it just enough so yeah if you pull this out you pull the core out a little bit the actuator will pop out of the way a little bit and then you can put the core back in push it back in and then turn it this way a little bit and then pull it out this way and this is again with all the pins still in it too because you don't want them to drop down in these holes and that way when it comes out you see how it misses that entire um, slot right there for the retaining pin but uh that's how you do it oh and then um uh, if you do end up having a drill right here <clears throat> uh these parts are easy to get these you can see like the little grooves on the lock when you do it just get yourself a punch and a hammer and just hit it it's just like the top of a, a fsi sfic core or lfic core with those uh you know things on the top there hit that it'll knock those out of the way these pins right here and then just drill away till you see the, see the spring and this is if all else fails drill away till you see the spring keep drilling keep drilling you see the spring just a little bit more and then grab um some key removal uh picks like these right here and go in there and stick these underneath that spring here we are and stick that underneath that spring and pull that spring out when you do that usually that'll get that spring and the rest of this um, little pin out right here and then the rest of your pins will drop out and that's what I had to do it's it's a real pain in the butt that's why I'm trying to give you a little answer for it so yeah if you open it cool awesome if you're trying to gut it you are practically gonna need the key otherwise pull it out just a little bit just a little bit to where you hear the actuator pop then push it back in turn it that way and then pull it out but anyways this was an a Abus Titanium ADTI. Here are the pins inside of it. Here's the bidding. So nice fun lock. I this is one of uh, uh, when I got this lock, it felt great. This is like a, a step up from uh, Americans and security pins, just because the key way and the feel for these. I I, I love it. But um, all right, everyone. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.